Hello, everyone. I'm Sheng Yuzhang from Zhejiang University. And I'm happy to um, in here to share, uh, share with you my recent work, we, uh, our study on multi-interest recommendation. So the title is IE4. So we learn, so we learn to reconstruct, reattend, and reconstruct to help to improve uh, multi-interest recommendation. So I'll start uh, with, with the motivation and some background knowledge, yeah. So firstly, um, in real world recommended, recommended system, the user interests are um, usually um, multi aspect, yeah. So for example, in an e-commerce e platform, so one user may, uh, may, may like, uh, like sports, Sports equipment, and he was he may also like some uh, electronic products such as uh, desktop computers. Yeah. So in, in embedding embedding have have sphere, um, the multi aspect uh, multi aspect items uh, in in the embedding have sphere might be uh, quite distant from each other, and in this case, an overall user embedding. So um, we extract one representation for each user. So this overall user embedding might, might be um, less effective in capturing uh, those um, different item clusters that, that might be quite uh, distant from each other. So that's why many existing um, research works explore uh, multi-interest recommendation. So uh, in general, they uh, try to group historical behaviors for each user um, in a soft or hard manner. So, so hard means, um, means that we uh, split, split the historical behaviors. And soft uh, means that we assign, assign, a, uh, assign weight to historical behaviors. And then we represent each group, each cluster with a, um, with a one sense representation. So representative uh, multi-interest recommendation models include MIND and a Comirac. So for example, the Comirac essay uses uh, a different attention has to represent different representations of users. So each attention has represents one you uh, interest the representation that accounts for uh, one interest aspect of the user. So, um, well, why uh, existing multi interest recommendation works not uh, good enough? So, our main argument is that uh, existing recommend multi interest recommendation works solely consider the forward flow. Uh, which means, which means they, they are concerned with how to generate multi-interest from historical behaviors. But they generally neglect the backward flow, which means um, we have generated the multi-interest representation. So how are the relations, what are the relationships between these generated multi-interest and historical behaviors? So what are the relationships? What are the relationships we are concerned with? So the first um, question is that uh, are the multi-interests that we, are, we have generated distinct from each other? And is each interest distinct from those historical behaviors that are, that are um, not correlated with the interests interest from our human perspective? So, uh, uh, Remember the uh, attention based the multi interest uh, baseline, the Comirac. So he, uh, they use the uh, self attention to represent the multi interest, and each attention has corresponds to a particular interest. So the so, uh, but uh, the, the attention has uh, actually introduced randomness, but there are no, no guarantee that uh, each attention has. Uh, 
should be uh, necessarily necessarily different from other outputs from other uh, attention heads. So the uh, the second question is: Are the correlations used to group items consistent to recommendation criteria? So uh, also also in the in the in the attention based uh, Martin interest recommendation example. So they use similarity, the attention weight as the basis to group historical behaviors. So we uh, so there's no guarantee that these attention weights are consistent to recommendation criteria. So what is recommendation criteria? So for example, in matching in matching models, in matching models, the recommendation criteria is um, dot product or cosine similarity or some simple uh, similarity functions. And in ranking models, the recommendation criteria can be model based, such as a neural network. Yeah. So this attention width might not be consistent to the correlations computed by the dot product for the neural network. Yeah. And the third question is that um, does each interest representation semantically reflect the content? Of the of those representative historical behaviors. So um, so we think we argue that the the um, the these extracted multi interests cannot yeah can, cannot uh, reflect those the content the semantic content of representative historical behaviors just by pooling or attention based aggregation. So here comes the uh, contribution of this work. So our goal is to learn, our goal is threefold. The, the first is that we aim to learn distinct multi interest representations for recommendation. The second one is that we, um, we ensure that the correlation between interest and the behaviors are consistent to recommendation criteria. The third one is that we, um, we regularize well, those interest representations to semantically reflect the content of those representative behaviors. So technically, we uh, the contribution is that we propose the IE4 algorithm. We propose the IE4 algorithm is a forward and backward flow joint modeling paradigm, and we and for the backward flow strategies, we propose propose the uh, reconstruct, reattend, and uh, reconstruct backward flow. So what are these uh, backward flows? We delve, we, um, we delve into the details here. So uh, what is uh, backward flow basically? So backward flow means that we have generated the multi interest and we go further to examine the relationship between those generated multi interest and historical behavior. And the first one is we can trust. We can trust means, um, means that we should push each interest away from other interests, as well as the, those uh, items corresponding to other interests yeah, in the embedding space. So technically, we use the contrastive, contrastive learning technique we define the positives and negatives for each interest. So for 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 a particular interest, the the the, pos the positives are those uh, historical behaviors that have um, that have high attention weight. So the A stands for attention weight. High attention weight. The attention weights are uh, bigger than a predefined threshold, which is gamma C. And we regard those uh, items, historical behaviors that have attention weight below the threshold as negative historical behaviors for this particular in interest. And we also regard other interests as negative. And having those positive negatives, we can conduct the, the interest behavior contrastive learning. And uh, yeah. And the second, 
cycle of flow is we construct. Yeah, that that's very that's quite intuitive and straightforward. So we so we aim to ensure the semantic uh, semantic correspondence between just and historical behaviors. So we construct reconstruct the, those represented items um, for each interest. And technically, we employ the attention-based reconstruction. And the third backward flow is real attempt. So we, um, we firstly, we compute the correlations between interest and historical behaviors under a certain uh, recommendation criterion which is used the car, uh, in the current um, in the current stage, yeah, such as dot product for matching matching stage or model based um, neural network neural network based for uh, ranking ranking stage. Yeah, we compute in the correlation, and then we minimize the distance between the correlations in the forward flow, which might be the the attention weight in um, in Comerac and the backward flow, which means the uh, uh, yeah the 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 the, the correlation computed uh, using the cr recommendation criteria. Yeah, we directly directly minimize the distance and ensure the consistency. Yeah, so that's the whole part of our our IE4 algorithm. Yeah, so. So we conduct experiments on three widely used benchmarks, recommendation benchmarks, the Amazon, Amazon Review Dataset, Muenen, and the Goana. And we compare our model with uh, many multi-interest baselines. We mainly follow, for, for fair comparison, we mainly follow the Comi rack to choose baseline, yeah. And uh, from the results, we observe that um, IE4 can consistently, consistently improve those designs mostly. And especially, uh, we, we can achieve substantial improvement on larger scale data sets, the Amazon review data set. Yeah. And then we um, conduct some analysis of the, of the algorithm. So this one is about the analysis of how the how the number of interests affect the model performance, and we found that um, in larger scale data sets we we need we need uh, more interests to uh, improve further improve the recommendation results. And more interestingly, we are <clears throat> we are more interested in the um, in whether the proposed Technique can improve the user item representation, and we can we conduct T, uh, TSNE transformation on user item user item represent, representations extracted by the base model and the IE4. Uh, those users and items are randomly sampled from the test set. Yeah, and if, and from the Visualization, we can find that users with their uh, corresponding items exhibit more noticeable clusters in the in the representation space of IE4, and and, and since we are multi-interest framework, so we are more interested in, in whether the learned multi-interest can capture uh, the real multi-aspect uh, interest of users. So in the representation space, we can find that. So so here we the, the number of interest is two is two, and we can find that in the representation space of IE4, the two interest embeddings with their closest items can further exhibit the two fine grain clusters. Yes, that means that means the learned mass interest can um, can encode different aspects of of uh, uh, of one user, yeah. So this visualization is uh, conducted on limited users and limited items, uh, yeah. So so uh, to have a global picture of the whole representation space, we we also conduct a 
a quantitative analysis, which is depicted, depicted uh, listed in the um, upright upright table. Yeah, and we can uh, since since uh, from the visualization we are more we are concerned with two clustering, which is inter-user clustering to find whether users with a corresponding items exit noticeable clusters, and also inter-user clusters. Intro user clustering, which means whether the learned mask interest of a particular user can can encode different aspects. So from these two uh, perspectives, we also we the uh, IE4 can both uh, consistently improve the base model in the clustering results. And um, we think we the uh, Although although our work is mostly conducted in the multi interest domain, but but we think our uh, framework can be generally can generally improve attention based recommendation models um, that has more that has multiple attention heads. So uh, it is well known that different attention heads um, mostly introduce randomness. And there's no guarantee that the outputs of different attention heads are distinct from each other. So the proposed ex explicit uh, supervision can help to ensure uh, con contrast correlations and, rep and representation. And this technique is also computationally scalable. So uh, actually, these comments are from a reviewer and a reviewer of the uh, three uh, www yeah so and um, we, we also in the future we also aim to explore the the effectiveness of our work in other attention based drug condition models and we extend aim to extend IE4 to other other uh, such as uh, the content based recommenders and explore whether there are more um, interesting backward flow strategies for uh, different tasks for, for those auxiliary features, such as images, news titles. Yeah. And that's all my presentation. Uh, thanks. So, uh, are there any questions? Thanks for the presentation. Any questions? Yeah, I would ask a, a simple quick question. Uh, in the experiment, that did you compare with the simpler shallow models, like just a classification, like a multi-class classification to predict the interest? Okay, multi-cluster based recommendation models, you mean? Uh, just simple multi-class classification. To, to oh, multi-class. Yeah, multi-class. Uh, currently, no. Yeah. Currently, no. We mainly we mainly compare with those uh, base science in only solely in the multi inches domain. Yeah. Currently, I think I think there are no uh, cluster cluster based uh, multi inches framework. Okay, no problem. Is that answer answer your question? Is is, is that? Uh, I'm I'm not familiar with some of the baseline methods here. Just wondering. Any of them are based, based on simple, you know, feature handcrafted feature engineering, then build a multi class classifier using GPDT or random forest or whatever. Uh, okay. Any of the business lines like that, yeah? Okay, uh, I think that's a good question, yeah. I think uh, a good a good feature engineering or some some other techniques, some uh, cluster, cluster uh, based techniques can improve, can improve the multi interest representation. I think, yeah. Uh, but, um, uh, but from a, from a perspective uh, um, of, uh, uh, how do you say, not, not have a, a industrial back, background, we are more interested in the 
model act, act, architecture themselves. Yeah. So we, so we, we, we haven't compared our model with those um, traditional and very um, successful uh, machine learning techniques. Yeah. Uh, uh, other feature, feature engineering techniques. Yeah. We, we, we haven't compared our model with those, those baselines. Yeah. We mainly compared, yeah, the, our model with existing multi-interest recommendation models. 